Hi, it's good to see you today. We are going to have some fun making up some addition stories. So we'll begin right after I pour myself something to drink and I'll meet you at my desk. As we get into our lesson today, let's start off by telling some addition stories. Take a look at the fruit I have on the table. Can you tell your teacher an addition story for what you see here? How'd you do? Here's my addition story. I needed to make a fruit salad. So I went to the store and I picked up four strawberries and two oranges. Now I have six all together. Let's make that into an addition sentence. How many strawberries did I start off with? Four. And we're adding, so remember we put the plus sign. And how many oranges are there? Two. I'm gonna change color so you can see. Can you see that? So how much do we have all together? Remember the trick I told you? If you don't know, you can count each one all together or put the biggest number in your head and count on. So let's do that. I'm gonna put four in my head, four, and then count on, five, six. How much is four and two? Six. Four plus two equals six. Let's show that real quick with the number bond. Have you been practicing your number bonds? Let's see, let's make one real quick right here. There's my whole part, part. How much do we have all together? Six, so I'm gonna put that right there. How many strawberries do we have? Four, and how many oranges were there? Two. Four and two make six. And what's the opposite? You got it. Two and four make six. That's pretty easy, huh? Let's do it again. Let me move my markers. I'll erase my board. And this time, instead of fruit, I have some boats. So I'm gonna set some out. And as I do, think of an addition story you can tell your teacher. Can you see that? Okay, take a moment and tell your teacher a new addition story for what you see. How'd you do? You wanna hear my addition story? Boats were entering a parade. First, four red boats started, and then four more orange boats joined. There were eight boats all together. Let's make that into a sentence. How many red boats were there first? Four. It's addition, so we'll put the plus sign. And how many orange boats joined? Four more. Do you remember what I call this? Doubles. When they're the same, they're doubles. So how many are all together? Let's start with put four in your head and let's count on. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Did you get eight too? Let's write the answer. Four plus four equals eight. Let's show that in a number bond. Just like we did before, there's my whole part, part. How many reds do we have? Four, this time I'm gonna start here. And how many oranges were there? Four, four and four more make how many all together? Eight. Do you see how I wrote it with the part first this time and then the whole? There's different ways to fill it in. So let's read it one more time. Four and four more make eight. And what's the opposite? Four and four more make eight. 
That's pretty easy, huh? Let me clear my board and then we'll move on to our next activity. I'm ready to make up more addition stories, are you? I want you to make sure you have your counters ready too so you can do this part with me. So get your counters and then we'll continue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell you a story and then you can show that with your counters at home. So I was at the farmer's market picking up some blueberries and I saw seven blueberries on the table. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I added two more. Can you show that with your counters? How many blueberries did I start with? Seven. Can you get out seven counters? And how many more did I add? Two more. Can you show that too? Now let's count them all together. How much is seven and two? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Some of you might have remembered we started with seven, so you put seven in your head and then count it on. Eight, nine. Let's show that with a number bond and then we can show it with an addition sentence. So here's my hole, my part, my other part. Can you draw that too? Good. How many blueberries did I start with first? Seven. So let's write seven in one. And how many more blueberries did we add to it? Two more. So how many blueberries are there all together? Nine is right. Seven and two make nine. Let's show that with an addition sentence. I'll write it right here so you can see. Seven plus two more makes nine. Not bad, huh? Let's try it one more time. You, I'm gonna erase my board and you can clear your space. And this time get two different types of counters. Okay, here are mine. I have some apples. You can set out your counters as I count out my apples. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can you count out six? And then here are my oranges. One, two, three, four. Can you count out four of your other counters? Good. How many of you already know what six and four make? Well, I have six apples in my basket and I wanted to bring home some oranges, so I put those in my basket too. How much do I have in my basket altogether? Let's figure it out. Six and four more. So let's count on six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How much do I have all together in my basket? Ten. Let's show that with our number bond. Watch how I make my number bond template this time. I'm going to start with my hole at the bottom and then put my parts on the top. Remember, it doesn't matter which way your number bond template faces. The hole is still the hole and the part is still the part. Do you see how I did that? This way kind of looks like an alien to me. So now let's fill it in. How many apples were there? Six, there's one. How many oranges did I have? Four, so you can write yours in two. Now, how much does six and four make all together? What did we say? 10. Six and four make 10, and four and six make 10. So let's write it out. Six apples and four more oranges makes 10 
all together. You can write it too or you can just look at mine. The more you get used to practicing your number bonds, the easier addition will be. So I really want you to make sure you add in a little bit of review every day. Let me show you a game that will help you practice your number bonds. So I'll clear off my board. And what I did was I made my own flashcards. You can buy your own flashcards or you can make them. What I like about making them is nothing is printed on the back. But do you see my problem? If you use a really dark marker, it'll show through. So you might want to make them with a crayon or a colored pencil. That's just a little tip. So here's a game you can play. I made up some addition facts with the answer on a separate card. So I did that for a few of them. You can do them all the way up to your additions to nine, or if you wanna do it all the way to 10, that's fine too. So watch what I do. I'm gonna turn over one card. Three plus zero equals, do you know the answer? Let's turn over the next card and see if it's the answer. Ah, three plus zero doesn't equal four plus two, so I'm gonna leave it there. Let's see if I can come up with an answer. Ah, two plus one doesn't, well, what do you think? Does two plus one have a match? Does two plus one equal three plus zero? Yes. So you can either put them underneath or stack them on top. Do any of these equal four? No, so I'm gonna leave that there. Do any of our addition problems or number bonds equal three? Yes, this whole pile right here equals three. So I'm gonna stack those together. How about this one? There's no five. Oh, does five plus zero equal five? And there it is. So do you see what I'm doing? My answers are on one card and my problems are on another and I turn over one card at a time and when I come to a match, I stack them together. You might even want to keep them in your own pile. Either way is okay, but it's really a fun game. But now, before we go, today is an important day for you because you get to practice mental math. Mental math is just another way to practice your number bonds. And teachers, this is really important. It is not timed. It is not to be a stressful event. It's just to be practiced. You may not even want to complete a whole page each time. You might want to have your students circle a few and do those today and then maybe finish the page another day. And most important, your student can use counters to help them solve the problems. Your student will let you know when they don't need the counters anymore, but always have them available for them to use. So when our lesson is done, feel free to try a couple of problems of your mental math. You may also just want to set out a few and write them on a whiteboard for your student to do. Either way is okay, but most of all, keep it fun. Bye, see you next time.